One way or another, it's inevitable that the Voyager probes will stop transmitting back to Earth, whether through error or malfunction, or simply running out of power. The end is unavoidable, and the curtain will fall on this incredible mission. But even then, the twin probes are just beginning their cosmic journeys. In 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will likely drift towards a star in the Camelopardalis constellation, while Voyager 2 will pass 1.7 light years from the star Ross 248. In 296,000 years, he will pass 4.3 light years from Sirius. These small, intrepid probes will likely outlast the Earth itself as they continue their solitary wanderings across the Milky Way. And if by chance they encounter intelligent life in one of the far reaches of our galaxy, they will be a testament to mankind's ingenuity and resilience. Remember I mentioned that on each of the probes was a message to the stars? These golden audiovisual discs are called the Golden Record and carry photographs of Earth and its many life forms. The sounds of whales and of babies crying, music by Mozart and Chad Berry, and dozens of indigenous peoples and greetings in 55 languages. They would offer a distant stranger a glimpse of who we are and what life on Earth is like. As for us, we must say goodbye to these old familiar friends and continue our own lives here on Earth. Hopefully, the Voyager mission will not be our last brush with the stars, but only the beginning.